Hello, welcome back. In today's video, we will be making a pizza and also guiding you through the process of taking Insta-worthy pictures of the food that you're making. So let's get started. These are the things you will be needing for the dough. I'm mentioning the quantity in the description below. Acha, so let's see what the setting looks like in my phone camera. Right now, I feel there's too much happening. So let me reassemble because I need to take my first picture of the process. I'm going to add a bit of green, a pop of color here and there. Let the camera screen help you in creating the perfect composition. Analyze the negative space, balance ugly a picture. Does each corner of the image have equal weight? So you need to make sure that all four corners of the screen are very nicely filled. This will give a very cozy, soft look. You can even take your camera closer to the subject. In this case, our subject is the recipe. See how the image looks very comfy? For Yunke, there is very less empty space. I really like how on the right side there, there is a big piala. So the opposite side has like three, four small cups. So this is called balance. If one corner has green, so the other has yellow. Also, one of the most important things is to find the perfect light. Make sure that there's a lot of natural light falling on your workspace. Kitchen may keep close to the windows because honestly, light is that one thing that can make or break your picture. According to the recipe, first you need to mix fresh yeast in two tablespoons warm water and mix until well dissolved. Make sure your yeast is not old. The dough will be very dry and hard otherwise. Now add one egg and mix. Then add sugar and oil. Now use the strainer to add the flour. I asked to see if to strain so I could take a picture of the flour. It looked very cool. Movement is always nice. Now add salt and needle and mix it all together. Oh, time to take a picture now. Emphasizing on the circles in this picture, it's always nice to find shapes around you because I think they make a great prop. Okay, back to business now. Add warm water, thoda thoda karke. Water is basically the holding force right now. A mix karte jao, karte jao, gunte jao, gunte jao. Set a timer for 10 minutes and bus shuru ho jao. I tried taking a picture here but maza nahi aa raha tha probably because the dough and the background both have the same color so contrast nahi create hota. Once done, take a picture. Here I'm using the pro mode and trying to play around with the white balance feature. It's under the name WB. Taking the image towards the warmer side now. For the composition, I kept it very simple and to the point, creating a small grid and using my hand to add some story. A big greased piale me do dalo and place it in a very warm area, somewhere near your stove maybe. Now wait for two hours. It is absolutely imperative that you keep the dough in a warm area for at least two hours. It needs to rest, the yeast needs to wake up. Be patient, be patient. Two hours, it's just two hours, be patient. While we wait for the dough, let's get on to the sauce. So here are the ingredients. All you need to do is that fry some onion in around two tablespoon oil, then add all the other ingredients, and once it comes to a boil, you are done. We still have a lot of time to kill, so let's take pictures in different compositions. In this case, the props are basically the ingredients that went into the sauce. I don't have to add anything extra. It looks super organic and natural this way. But you also need to see that. Is there too much going on? Are there too many elements in the picture? Because main subjects in as a neutral you need to make sure that the viewer knows what to concentrate on. Also, props are secondary. No matter how beautiful the prop is, you need to make sure that subject is pura focus ja rahe. So you don't have to take prop pura ka pura at all times. You can always cut it in half. 
एज ए नॉट लिटरली बट आई फ्रेम में बिकॉज द सॉस वॉज वेरी रेड आई एडेड अ बिट ऑफ धनिया ऑन टॉप ताकि थोड़ा कॉन्ट्रास्ट डेवलप हो बिकॉज अदरवाइज इट लुक्ड वेरी प्लैंड फॉर दिस कॉम्पोजिशन आई हैव यूज एन एस वॉट यू नीड टू डू इज दैट यू नीड टू मेक एन इमेजनरी एस ऑन योर वर्क स्पेस एंड असेंबल द प्रॉप्स ऑन दैट एस दिस वे देर वुड बी अ लोट ऑफ फ्लो टू द इमेज विच वुड मेक इट वेरी सॉफ्ट Hello there, beautiful. Guess who's here, Mr. Doe? I'm so sorry. It has risen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm sorry again. Okay, take the dough out now and boil it for like another two, three minutes. I'm cutting the dough into two halves because I feel like it's a bit too much and my oven isn't big enough. I'm going to use one half of it, or the other half. I'm going to freeze it and use it later. Time to assemble now. I'm using the fork to pour holes into the dough so that the bubbles don't burn. Add the sauce first. Acha, so I made a mistake. You need to assemble dough ko pan pe rakhe because it's super soft. Mushkil hoti hai if you transfer it later. Also, I made the pizza into a circle, but later realized that the pan is square. Wow, Maham, you are a genius. Anyway, so add cheese on the sauce first. Thodi si add the veggies and the chicken and whatever you want to add, and then cheese again. By adding cheese twice, of course, it's yummier because cheese. And also, um, cheese makes sure that everything sticks together. I also add chili flakes and oregano on top. Hello, beautiful. Now that the pizza has been made, finally, I changed the background. I added different props, props that weren't from the kitchen, and took pictures again. You can always take the subject outside of the kitchen once it's done and do a short photo shoot somewhere that's pretty because your hard work deserves that kind of attention. That's it for today. Hope you had fun watching this video. Hope it was helpful as well. Stay safe during this time. Push raw or bad raw. Stay safe, but also stay sane. Thank you for watching. Bye.